right guys thanks so much for tuning in it's always fantastic when somebody watches my videos thank you so much so today's video is about the refrigeration now when we bought Tiare we had refrigeration on board it was a quite a small unit downstairs in the galley uh, since then we've taken the galley out moved it upstairs and um, the fridge has sort of followed us along but has died in that process now the previous owner did have um, other methods of refrigeration which was basically large chunks or large cubes of ice blocks which are a fairly common way of, of uh, doing refrigeration in the tropics and there are cellars around that sell these great big cubes of, of ice um, the previous owner Alex had a couple of big chili bins on deck which you'd put the ice into and keep all his drinks and that cold however with the upgrade to the galley I can now have a separate fridge and a separate freezer unit. Anyway, hope you enjoy the videos. Fridge and freezer boxes there. The angles, and there's a lot of don't do this and don't do that. That's what I need. or a freezer fridge doesn't matter which way but those are two going in it's a really tight fit to get down there. everything's just within a few mils tolerant that gap there is basically just on there to get it down so if i pull this up here and just move in it allows me to put this down little bits down there are stuck on well that's where this sits this all here is um aluminium on here, that's aluminium plates, as I said. This here is a piece of rubber for some sound vibration insulation. There's another piece of rubber there. And then this goes on to a piece of um, epoxy ply. Uh, and all that will then just get um, screwed and bolted. Actually, you won't need those. It will just sit down there, but it will sit down there with a bit of silicon, um, which means I will be able to lift it up if I have to at some stage in the future. Now I've drilled two big holes down there. That's for my fans. They go, they draw air in through here. So the air gets drawn in through here and goes through there and then it will exit out. And another one below it. I still got to put the wood up around there. The bottom of this, I've put another layer of insulation on um, that's been glued on and then I've just taped up around the edges there. These have been tested correctly. So I know they work, which is good. Actually, the hard part is, so they have to be gently wrapped around in a circle to sort of come around there, then 
up onto this little bit there and the same over there they come up that corner there those two lines there that little right there they're supposed to line up and they, they do line up well it's going to go one way side but that's okay but they line up with those uh those two One side, two side, but that's a project for another day. I just need to get these in here, get them out of the way so I could wire them in permanently and I can finish off the electrics. That's pretty much the last of the electrics I have to do, just getting these fridges in, other than the solar, but that's another mission. Um, Um, trying to find ice and ice makers was becoming more and more difficult. The ones we did find weren't near the marina or where we were anchored, which means we had to get public transport with a big sack, go and pick up the ice, throw it on the back and take the public transport back to the boat. Now, this is in the tropics and as you can imagine, um, the ice started to melt as soon as we walked out of the shop and by the time we got back to the marina or wherever, their ice has really started to melt and there was often a large trail of water um, or a river in, this, in some cases going down the middle of the bus as we're traveling along. So that was embarrassing and it sort of um, became um, too much of an adventure to, uh, to want to do on a regular basis. So what ended up happening is that we just had sort of subpar refrigeration for quite a number of years and um, really, really appreciated cold drinks and ice cream when we went ashore. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. Cheers guys.